What's up YouTube, Jay Travelini here. Today I got a good one for you. I got two things, I got my coffee here and my bush. Uh, you know, we're gonna have a good one here with this video. Now, if you guys remember my unboxing, I picked up two cars, my 3070, my 3080 here, but these are RXQ. So I don't know if these are LHR or not. We're gonna be testing them for it today. Now, if you're looking for a benchmark video, this isn't it. I'm not going to be benchmarking these. I'm not going to be pushing them and overclocking and tuning them. What I'm going to be doing is just getting on my test bench and seeing if it gets knocked down in hash rate. Now, with EVG, I know that the KR SKU are their unlocked cards, and the KL SKU is the cards they put out later that have the LHR. But being that these are RX, when I got them from EVGA, it could be a crapshoot for the pretty much. It could be LHR or non LHR. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, there's a little fuzz on this. I'm going to start with my 3070, get that onto my test bench. Now, I have it set up here so I can see my monitor, but I have this random my capture card so that I can run it through my computer and so you can see my screen at all times. Now, I do have a mouse and keyboard. Unfortunately, the wireless keyboard and mouse that I bought, I wanted to turn on the keyboard and the power switch broke off immediately. So I have them wired in right now. So my mouse is a little short, so it's gonna be a little awkward for me when changing a few things. Now, the only thing I really plan to change is the power limit. Um, I just wanna knock the power down on the card so it's not just pulling a lot of juice, just so that we can see if these are LHR. Now, I'm hoping that they're not LHR, obviously, so I can mine Ethereum with both of them. Now, if they're non-LHR, I should get roughly 160 mega hash out of both of these, totaling about close to 280 to 290 watts between the two cards. Now, that's pretty good, uh, obviously, and I do have my test bench set up for it, so I'll be looking at things on my monitor. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this 3070 onto the test bench I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna install them on the test bench off camera, and then I'll be, then I'll just come back, and then we'll look at the cards and get the mining. Uh, I will be mining Ethereum using T Rex Miner on Windows, and like I said, I won't be overclocking these, just testing for LHR. So let's get the first one, the 3070, on there and see if that's LHR or not. All right, so I have the 3070 installed, and here it is, an afterburner. So I do have this i'm not going to be touching the like core clock or memory clock right now but i will set my fan to i'm just going to set it to 60 percent and set my power limit to 70 and i'm going to apply that now the fan should start spinning and it looks like all three are going now i'm just doing that for temperature reasons i don't want to just like out of the gate run all of my juice to it now let's go ahead and open up T-Rex and I'm going to get the miner going. Uh, now I'll use ether mine and we will see if it is an LHR card now. So it should start mining. It looks like it's going, it's going to build the DAG. So we will give it a few minutes to build this DAG up and pretty much all I'm looking for, everyone pretty much knows LHR now is I'm looking to see if this hash rate just gets slashed. So if it runs for a few seconds and it doesn't get cut, I'm going to consider this a non-LHR card. So let's keep our fingers crossed, <laughs> keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best here. Now I'll make it full screen so that you guys can actually, it probably doesn't even matter as far as reading it, whether it's full screen or not. And I had to go messing with it. I hope I don't have to restart the miner, but I'm not seeing any. There we are. Yeah, I don't think making it full screen really did anything. All right, 51.97 mega hash is what we're at. So we want to keep looking. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to keep jacking the memory up. I'm at 188 watts, so I might turn that down a little bit. Uh, just because I don't need to be at 188 watts. And like I said, I'm gonna need touching the memory and fans just because I don't wanna just run the run my card really hot for no reason. But let's see if this keeps going. 
and see how we do. 51.98 still. So I'm pretty much chalking this one with one. It looks like we got one accepted share. So I'm pretty much chalking this one up as being non-LHR, uh, which is really good. I mean, I, I got this from straight from me. Yeah, 51.98 still. This is not an LHR card. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put my memory at like 800 real quick and see if it goes up. Now, obviously I should be able to run this at much higher than eight plus 800 on the memory. Uh, but we are mining Ethereum now at full hash rates. So I just want to see if I can like push it to like 55, 56, maybe even like 57 mega hash real quick and just hold that. Once it holds for a little bit, I'm going to shut this miner off and then we're going to get the 3080 on there. Now I'll run this fan speed probably a lot higher because we know the memory temps can be pretty crummy uh, on them. But yeah, 54 mega hash. This this is a non-LHR card, so I got lucky on this one from EVGA. Uh, they sent me a non-LHR card. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pretty much shut this one off, uh, kill this miner here, and I'm going to get this 3080 installed. So I'm gonna get this 3080 put on, and we're gonna test this one. Now, this one's non-LHR, I'll have a big score on my hands here. Um, but let's go ahead. I'm, I'm at 57.2 mega hash already. 161 watts. Obviously, that's a lot for this card. Obviously, it's not fine tuned at all. But let's shut this off and I'm going to shut this rig down. And what I am going to do is get this 3080 installed. We're going to test this one for LHR. All right. Now that the 3080 is installed in this rig, you can see behind me, you can see an afterburner here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set my fan uh, 70 on this one. And I'm going to pull my power down to 70, maybe even lower. I'll probably put it at 60 and we'll see what it does from there. And now I will launch the miner here. Uh, let me pull it to the desktop. Let's launch the ether mine miner and see how it does. Now we're looking for the same thing here. The 3070 is sitting right here and this was non LHR. So we're looking for the same thing. I just want to see it build a DAG uh, and run and see if we drop mega hash at all. So obviously we're hoping for non LHR. We want to fully unlock card. So let's look here and see what happens. Now it's going to take a few seconds to build a DAG. Now I'm still zero on the memory, zero on the core. I'm not too worried about the overclocking right now. When I build the rig that it's going, that these are going on and put it on Hive OS, that's when I'll pretty much worry about building the DAG up. But I'm already celebrating with a Bush, uh, the one, one non-LHR card. So 87.2 mega hash, so that's good. Uh, we're looking at 87, so my, I don't have, I've never ran an LHR card, but from what I've seen in my research online, they pretty much start pretty low. Um, so the fact that I have 87.22 already, and I'm looking at 42 and 78C on the memory. 78C is pretty low on the memory, but I obviously just started it. Now, I wish Hive OS would update and be able to see memory temperatures on these NVIDIA cards. Obviously, right now, I, I can't see them when I use Hive OS, not even in the miner. Uh, I wish I could in the miner. So let's give it a couple more seconds. And we're still at 87.24. So I'm gonna give it like 600 on the memory and see if it goes a little above 90 maybe. And I'll let that run for 30 seconds, but it looks like we're promising right now of a non LHR 3080. Uh, it's looking very promising. I don't wanna to jump to that conclusion just yet, but it's looking good right now on the screen. So 87.24, I'm celebrating. 89.4, I'm still celebrating. And that beer is gone because we have a non LHR card. So both pickups from EVGA are executed. Now, 
This does not guarantee that every RX SKU is going to be non LHR. These were pretty much returned cards that I picked up. So somebody returned them for whatever reason. Either this could have been returned because of memory temperatures or they picked up a 3090 or whatever. It could have been anything, any, any reason really. But they rebranded as an RX SKU or a re-sticker as an RX SKU. And I lucked out and got two non LHR cards. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's safe to shut this back down and pretty much say I got really lucky. So when you're buying from EVGA, obviously your KR is what you really want to get. That's your non LHR. You really don't have to go back and forth with looking. Your KL is going to be your LHR cards. Now, if you're buying a 3080 Ti or 3070 Ti, or even a 3060, they're all tech, they're all LHR cards, so you still might get a KR SKU. So don't let that fool you that it's the KR SKU from EVGA because the 3070 Ti, 3080 Ti, and 3060 are all LHR. Now the 3060, some people have version twos and threes. The version one would be your non LHR, even though it still technically has a hash rate limiter, but the version ones usually still work with the dev driver. Now that's not advice that I'm giving them, just saying it's usually typically how it is, but they do not advertise 3060s as LHR on the box on some manufacturers. Like they do, like I think EVJ actually advertises LHR on their 3070s and 3080s now. But don't let that stuff fool you. Uh, and obviously buy at your own risk if you're crypto mining. Don't just take my word for it. I had to test this and got it on my test bench to figure out if it's LHR or not. And I lucked out in this situation. Uh, but you know, happy mining for me at this point. I got another 3080s, actually my first 3080 that I purchased on my own through all the hunting that I've, do I've been doing and all the cards I've been getting. I've never been able to land 3080s except for this one. Uh, I do have another 3080 mining currently. It's an Aces Tough, but I got that through a trade. I had an Xbox Series X brand new in the box and the guy traded me plus MSRP difference. So I paid 500 for the Xbox Series X. And I traded that plus 450 for a 3080. The guy had two of them for some reason. So it worked out in my favor. But, you know, thanks for checking this video out. This was just a quick test for LHR or not. This is not the benchmark test. Obviously, I'm expecting a better hash rate out of these cards once I get them fully set up. But thanks for checking this out. If you like the shirt I'm wearing, you know, check out the merch store in the description below. You know, uh, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.